Yo, 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 how are you guys all doing? I hope you're all super well. Today, I've managed to cook some decent bacon. If you saw a couple of episodes ago, it wasn't that great. But look at that masterpiece. Beautifully crispy. Just the way I like it, to be honest. Then I'm also going to have some bread, a banana, and some of those berries. Pretty decent lunch, pretty healthy. Oh no, it's all the bacon's shrinking. I guess bacon does that. It is actually quite a nice day, especially for what I'm going to do. You can see, just a bit overcast, not much sun. It's not too cold either. So my plan for today, I'm just going to do a bit of video editing and then later on I'm going to go down to the park. Now, I should be playing tomorrow either with the first team or the reserve team. I don't think I'll find out until tomorrow morning. Seeing as yesterday was a recovery day from the game, today is going to be slightly similar but I'm actually going to go down to the park. I might burst the wall in a game of football tennis, no promises, but it's just going to be some light passing and maybe a light jog with some juggling and stuff just to get that touch on the ball and always improving nothing too intense because i don't want to wear myself out for the game i'm going to get on with this i'm having my banana now and then i'm going to head down to the park and i'll catch you guys on the way we have two midweek games this week we had one on tuesday and then we have another one on friday i think there's some sort of bank holiday this weekend but you know what? I'm not complaining. Two quick games, it means it means just a quick succession of football and then we'll have another midweek game next week. Just playing twice a week, I it's beyond me why Australia hasn't got to this point where they they haven't implemented this because play, being able to play twice a week it means you learn so much more. You're playing the game more so you, you have more experience on the field and understanding of where to be for positioning. Because in training, sometimes you just can't get that. You can work on your technique all you like, but if you can't position yourself well in a game, then you're not going to receive the ball in the right places, won't be able to attack the right places, all of that sort of stuff. I, I hope soon they implement it, but who knows. I already like this place more, except the weather. It's a bit cold. A couple videos ago, I made a little montage of my training. We're going to get to that today, so let's get into it. First off though, this grass just keeps getting longer and longer. I wonder how much longer until they actually mow this thing. Look at it, that's from the ground. There's my foot. So, look at this one. Look at that, how is that grass? I think they need to fix it. <laughs> My ball. Well, that really sucks. I think I've only popped a couple of balls in my life that I can remember. One of the best stories that I have is that I was down at this oval and I shot the ball. It was a shot or a long pass I was trying to do and it went well over the fence and the net that was meant to stop it from going on the main road. Now, it goes on the main road, it hits a shop window, like a big shop window, that must have been some strong glass because that didn't break. Bounced off the shop window, bounced off the shop window, bounced off the road and then bounced on someone's windshield and then it kind of bounced around and then someone like knocked it forward and then two seconds later I hear a big pop and the ball actually exploded and yeah, that was the end of that ball. If you guys have ever broken a ball, make sure you leave a comment. I'm interested to hear your little story because usually they're pretty good. It's not like you hit it, oh, it landed on a nail or something like that. Usually they're good if you pop a ball, like so a car runs over it or anything like that. Or what have you broken with a ball? I'm interested to hear those. I've broken a fair few things in my house. Let me know in the comments. Well, the football may be no use to me, but look at him. I've just... I've given Tippy my ball. Do you like it? Play with it. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Here, I'll help you. Ready? I'm going to... Just wait! Wait! I'm going to put a through ball for you. Ready? Ready? Get out of my way. Through ball! Attack! Go! No. Yes! Run to me out! <laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> Great technique. 
Two. Oh no! You magged me. The first mag by dog ever. So I've put in raspberries, mangoes, an egg, some powder, and some milk. What do you reckon? Would you ever have that? Would you put egg in your smoothie? Sounds good to me. Yeah, see, some people don't like eggs in their smoothie. Egg is a balanced food. Yeah. It's got protein, exactly. fat, and carbohydrate. It's what you it's need. It's what you need. But some people just don't like it, like the flavor. You can't even taste well, it. Well, it comes down to taste then, doesn't it? Yeah, but it's worth it. <laughs> worth having it. I'm just about to go to bed now. I'm pretty tired, but I still haven't heard from the manager of the first team or the reserve team. So I'll give them a text tomorrow morning and then see what the plans are for tomorrow, whether I'm with the first team, reserve team, or whatever it may be. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Listen.